everybody and welcome to day 10 of vlogmas it's great to have you here this tea today is irish holiday and it is a black tea with ginger rooibos and cinnamon i feel like we had this one already i remember this name maybe we're to the repeats uh it's black tea but i haven't let it steep that long so we're just gonna go for it Mm, that's nice. Maybe this is the one that I had thought of a few days ago that I would have liked a whole box of. That's really nice and subtle. Mm. So that's good. I'm trying a new lighting setup. Um, I ordered professional lights, so we've got two of these light stands that we're using. I found that as I was holding stuff up to the camera, it would get dark and then light and then trying to like cut pieces together and cut out my coughing or cars going by, it was getting really difficult. <coughs> Speaking of which, every time I say the word coughing, I start to cough. Okay, time for our yarn. Number 10, I'm in the chair that likes to make popping sounds. 11 and 12, we'll need those soon. I can't believe it's December 10th already, that's insane. Here we go. Number 10, number 10. <laughs> okay. I'm hoping at some point we will get to purple because that will make a really beautiful shawl. Ooh, definitely getting more into blue. The tag is gone. How am I gonna know it's number 10 without the tag? Oh no, I had to make my own tag. There's no band. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to make my own band because I'm trying to keep these in number order so that when I ball them up, um, I can use them in number order and keep the two colors that go to each other with each other. This looks like we're getting a little bit of a light blue in there. So, not sure if we're maybe going into a light blue instead of a deep purple. And we've got our caramel. Another caramel for us to try. We are up to I think we're I think we're done with this side. We are. We're on to the next side of the box here. Okay, number seven has another little squiggly on top, which is pretty. Gotta try. Oh! What kind of citrusy, is this the blood orange? Oh, or the strawberry. Might be the strawberry. I still dropped the chocolate. Ah. Not probably the strawberry. I have a feeling. Mm hmm. Well, that's the strawberry. It's like a super sweet strawberry. Not my favorite. Hmm. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. And I would love it if you would hit the like button. If you've watched more than one of these videos, I would love it if you would become a subscriber. And then, as you know, the Vlogmas videos are being posted. You know, I post a video every Saturday, but the extra video goes up whenever it's ready. So if you hit the notification bell, you'll see that right when it comes up. And you can keep up to date with the Vlogmas videos. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Heather, and I run a small handmade business called Lemon Tree Corner where I make bags and purses and project bags for makers like you. And for all of you coming back, thank you for coming back every week. I really appreciate you spending time with me. And we got our Christmas cards in. Yay! <laughs> so we just did a fun Christmas card this year. Um, 
I used to do like handwriting Christmas cards and it took forever and we're up to like over 60 addresses now <laughs> and then I like to give them to people at work as well and I feel like while these are a little impersonal because everybody's getting the same thing, I'm not even hand addressing labels or anything, uh, I feel like it is personal because it has our pictures on it. And I found through the years that the ones I got from people with their pictures on it uh, really made my day and I get to see everybody as they get older and their kids get older. So it just brings a personal touch by getting to see their faces and especially in the days before Facebook, when you didn't get to see pictures of them all the time, it was really nice. And I hang them up on the, on the doorway, the archway of our house, and I put all the Christmas cards up, and it's just nice to see their faces the whole time. So we switched over to these cards. We get them through Costco, which is a really good deal and a discount. It's just hard to find photos of the dogs that work half the time because uh, they never like to look at the camera so we tend to take pictures of them right after they've been groomed and they look all nice and sparkly. I was gonna head to Joanne's today uh, to make my coworker a bag and then I realized I had already ordered her something off Natural Life. I love that website for little presents for people. Well I had got these little trinket, um, trinket, not really jars, trinket trays for my other nieces, and I had ordered her one as well, my coworker. So um, I can't make a little makeup pouch because it's not going to be big enough to fit the trinket tray, and so um, I can't really do that. And then I was thinking, oh, I'll just make her like a tote bag, like a work bag kind of thing. And then I'm like, I'm not going to have time to do that because next week is my last week in the office. I mean, I guess I could make it. And drop it off but I don't even know if she's gonna be in the office that last week before Christmas so I feel like I just I should have thought of this ahead of time and made more time for myself to make it because basically I would have to make it today and tomorrow and I already have other projects set up for today and tomorrow so I can't really just like drop everything and do that so I'm sorry I will have to make her a bag next year or maybe for her birthday next year so I was really looking forward to that but I decided I was like literally opening the door to go to Joanne's and I'm like I don't need to go to Joanne's if I'm not making her a bag because I'm just gonna be tempted to buy fabric at this point and I have a ton of fabric that I need to use so we are gonna cancel that trip um, we are gonna make a crock pot dinner today so you'll see that the other thing is my nails. My nails just suck. Ever since I did the stick on nails, they've just been chipping. I had this one went down to like the quick at this point. It just keeps breaking. And I tried the, you know, the clear polish that has the fortifying stuff in it, the strengthening stuff, and that's not working. <laughs> so I'm really at a loss right now. And this one just bent. So I'm gonna have to cut that off. Uh, it's just really annoying, which is why I stopped using those press-on nails in the first place. I don't know if it's the glue or what's happening that's um, hurting my nails, but that's no good. So um, I ordered the hair nail gummies that I used to take a couple of years ago when this happened. So I'll start taking those and see if that helps my nails. Just kind of sucks because now it makes me, I have all these stick-on nails, the gel nails, to use and now it makes me not want to use them because this is what happens. So I don't know if I'm going to use those or not moving forward. We have a little work party on Thursday night which is nice because Thursday is my last technical day in the office because I'll be working from home on Friday. So we'll do a little work a little work dinner and have fun doing that and then I will be off. I can't tell you how happy I am that I gave myself this extra week off. <laughs> Um, I've thought about it a lot over the years, you know, when you start a new job, you don't have a lot of vacation time saved up, so you don't want to burn a whole week vacation time on just sitting at home. Like, basically, next week is finals week, so once the faculty give their finals, they're pretty much out of there, so nobody's really in the office next week, or the week after that, except for all of us office folks, you know, so it's usually pretty quiet, and then 
You're like, why am I sitting here? I could be Christmas shopping, especially during the day. It's nice to go Christmas shopping during a weekday because most people are at work. So that's nice. Um, also just preparing my house to host for the holidays and getting uh, all the presents, presents wrapped and all of that fun stuff. So just looking forward to that and looking forward to time to make some stuff and have some creative time and some cozy time, just me and my husband and the dogs. So that'll be nice. And with that out of the way, I think we will go ahead and get started with our weekend projects. Let's go. Oh, and I totally forgot to show you the earrings. So I'm wearing the B earrings right now. I don't know if you can see those. And they go with this necklace. So I've got this cute honeycomb necklace with the bee on it. So I figured those would be good together. What I like to do, what I learned from all my secretarial years of packing envelopes, is that you get a little piece of sponge and you get it wet and you seal the envelopes that way. So I just cut off a little piece of my sponge. I had one from last year, but I have no clue where it is. So we're just going to put a towel down to kind of save us getting our cutting that wet, and go through with a little water, and then seal it, and put it in here ready to be, have the address on it. If you've noticed my sweatpants today but they are brand new to me trying them out from Amazon and they've got like a little bell at the bottom and a nice waistband which is a little too tight but I can probably stretch out the elastic but they're super comfortable so um, I've been trying them out I just ordered four more pairs so I have a nice supply of sweatpants because the sweatpants I have right now are all very like super thick and hot <laughs> and boxy so i think these will be good for the future they'd also be very good for the airport they feel like they'd be really comfortable to sit on a plane in okay folks today we are making the crock pot boneless pork ribs with cranberries and apples only i've changed the recipe slightly so i got rid of the actual cranberries because I felt like they were and I'm not gonna eat the whole cranberry I just want the flavor of the cranberry so I'm gonna replace the apple juice with cran apple juice instead so that'll add a little um, cranberry flavor to it but it's a really quick not quick but it's a slow cooker but it's a really easy recipe so I have some boneless pork chops I need to use up that I defrosted and then we're just gonna use, um, I got a yellow onion and Granny Smith's apple 
or two and some new potatoes. So it's gonna be a really quick recipe. So you're gonna do everything in the crock pot and let it cook all day. Give myself some more room here. Some potatoes. I feel like this is a really nice fall or holiday recipe because you've got all the usual suspects in here. You got the onion and the pork and the apple and the cranberry. So it just tastes really fallish. And if you don't have one yet, I love my little compost bin. You can see it there. Uh, it just stays here on the counter. It's got a filter so you don't smell anything when the lid is shut. Like this onion, once I put the lid on, I'm not gonna smell this in my whole kitchen like you think you would. And then our um, trash company, or our city, started doing a thing where we can put um, compostable veggie scraps and food scraps and even meat scraps in the yard waste. So it all gets um, done that way instead of going into the landfill, which is nice. You just can't have plastic bags or anything. And even though these are compostable bags uh, that I'm using in the compost bin, I can't put those in there either. So we just kind of reuse the bag as long as we can um, and just put the food directly in the yard waste. Ooh, these are strong onions. Oh man. Ha. Huh. So I'm just gonna do like normal slices here. Oh, that's so strong. Oh. And put them in the crock pot. So they'll be our base for the whole dish. these put in and then I'm going to take the time to just separate them a little bit just because they're kind of our base layer here they hold the pork off the bottom so it doesn't get burnt which is good so I haven't been in the mood for cooking anything lately and just been eating a lot of stuff to go which is not good because I don't tend to pick the healthiest stuff. So we're going to do the pork chops today and then we're also going to do um, one of my family favorites, Hungarian goulash, for dinner tomorrow. So that'll be fun. Combine, it says a half a, or a fourth of a cup of balsamic vinegar. A fourth of a cup seems like a lot. Let's start with our other ingredients. So, half a cup of brown sugar is optional, and I don't want it to be too sweet, so I'm probably going to cut that into a fourth. But I do like to have the brown sugar in there. 
So I'm going to do, I know that you can see what I'm doing at this point. No, you can't. I'm going to have to get you over here. Okay. So we're going to do a half cup of the cran apple. And I might do more than that. I don't know. For me, it's hard to do. It's hard to do dry stuff in the crock pot. I know you can make stuff dry in a crock pot, but I always think of stuff needing to stew. So I have trouble <laughs> sticking to that and making it dry. And then I'm going to do a fourth of a cup of brown sugar. It's just, we do want the sweetness, but we don't want that much sweetness. Oh, just splashed myself. Good thing I'm wearing PJs instead of regular clothes at this point. And then let's see how much we get to here. The balsamic is going to really cook down, thicken up, so maybe we do go, okay. Fourth doesn't look like a crazy amount. I think of balsamic as being really sharp, but by the time this cooks down for six hours, it'll be really sweet. And we're just going to whisk that together for a minute. I need one of those really teeny whisks. Just to get the brown sugar dissolved. And we're going to pour that over. I mean, it kind of smells like apple cider vinegar by the time you do this, because you have the vinegar in there. And that's it. Well, this is why I'm not great at reading recipes. So it just said to put the apples in, like, in the last 30 minutes. So my apples will be really cooked it down. I'm not going to fish them out. They're, like, covered with stuff now. So I'm just going to leave them like that. And four to six hours later... I will show you what that looks like. Okay, so here we have our pork dish. Probably cooked it a little too long at this point, but I wanted the mushrooms to cook in a little bit. I'm just gonna plate some of this up. Um, I just had that big salad, so I'm not gonna have too much of it. These are like really teeny pork chops. So that'll be good. And then I totally forgot to get applesauce, but I forgot that I do have these little um, individual applesauces. So glad for that because I really love my pork with applesauce. So, um, and I mean, I already have apples in here, but. Hmm. That's nice. The um, potatoes haven't completely fallen apart. It's got a good flavor. You taste that vinegar, but because it's balsamic vinegar, it tastes a lot sweeter. So happy for that, and let's get to eating. time we have superstar anise which is an organic black tea with ginger cloves and star anise let's try this puppy out well, not too bad not a big fan of anise flavor but star anise is different right pretty good Sorry, I'm trying out the new lights and you can like totally see the light reflected in my glasses. But I don't know of a better way to do this without, you know, not being lit up, so. Okay, day 11, Advent. <clears throat> right on top. And it's raining outside. You can hear all the dripping. My plants are very happy right now. 
I do not water them as much as I should because I just get eaten by mosquitoes every time I try and water. Ooh, getting darker. Here we have 11. That looks really pretty. Mmm. It's like I want to start balling them up and making something already. Well, maybe with my two weeks off work, it'll be a good... Oh, yeah, I do have to have a crochet project for the long car ride down to San Diego and the overnight trip for Christmas, so... Hmm. Maybe I could start on this or finish the shawl I already have started. That's probably a better idea. Okay, <laughs> let's continue on. I think today we're going to try my sister's idea of going to the thrift stores and looking for plates because... Yeah, I'm just not seeing any that I want in any of the stores. I've tried it everywhere. Um, except for, you know, the really expensive ones, like the Lennox plate sets. Of course I love those. But I really like the idea of recycling, reusing somebody else's plate sets. And I don't know, you know, Southern California doesn't necessarily have the best selection of, of things um, like other states do but should be able to find something locally, especially as I like the stoneware more than the actual china wear. So um, it's just, they wear and tear better, they work better in the microwave and the dishwasher. So I might be able to find somebody's stoneware set from say like 20 years ago that would work perfectly well for us. I'd also like to replace my everyday plate set. I've had it for Geez, I've had it for over 20 years now, so i um, just kind of tired of looking at the plates. So I'd feel better if I could find a recycled, you know, plate set to use as opposed to just throwing these plates away. Obviously, I will donate the plates, but it would be good to just keep that circle going and to not have to buy brand new plates for either of those things. So, um... I don't think I've shown them yet, but I got another set of the Pioneer Woman salad plates because I'm thinking whatever plates I get, I don't know, I love those plates. I like putting my English muffin on those plates or using them as dessert plates when we, when it's not Christmas and we don't have our fancy Christmas plates. They make great dessert and appetizer plates that don't have to match like whatever's on the table. So um, I bought some more of those. I don't necessarily like some of them that were in the set, but it was a set of six. And basically that brings me up to 12 of those plates. So uh, what I used to like doing is going to Walmart and like hand picking whatever her new thing was. But our Walmart doesn't seem to carry the separate plates anymore. So just do it this way. They don't all have to be fancy or they don't all have to be my favorite. So other than that, just going to stay here, finish up the next set of four ornaments because once again, we've only got one ornament left to hang. So got to keep up with those and so finish those, cut out the next set of four and work on my blanket because I have not been working on my blanket. So I really just need to watch the video and get the next stitch down so that I can work on that. In the evenings and it's a nice rainy day so other than hitting a few uh, thrift stores I think we're in all day
last stop for now is going to be the fancy curated Goodwill. So I'm thinking that's the only one in our area that would actually have either a complete plate set or a plate set I would actually want. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna leave you here. <laughs> it's already been way longer of a video than I thought it would be. Um, got a lot done this weekend. So I don't know if I'm gonna do two videos this week or uh, just wait until the Saturday video, but I will see you on the next one. <laughs> and thanks for stopping by and spending time with me. And I hope that your week is wonderful. And I love you all. Bye.